Welcome to a video by Stands Auto Repair. Oh. Control arm, 2000 Dodge Neon. <laughs> we got a problem. There we go. Trying to get the control arm off. And that's as far as I can get the bolt down. So, trying to cut that flush, which is kind of difficult, but this is the tools I'm using. And then that to vacuum up the debris. But the reason I think that rusted is I found a mouse nest inside there all the way around it. Um, I didn't think of recording or I would have recorded it. But, uh, this is what you have to do if you uh, are turning your control arm bushing and then it just busts loose. The replacement for this uh, is, uh, there's Advance has it, it's made by Dorman. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of the bolts, but it comes with a nut. Uh, so you're gonna have to do a, a, a bolt and a nut system. So you're gonna always wanna have an access hole. Um, so, that's what we do here. That's how we got to get it done. And this is the, the driver's side's the same way. But all you have to do is remove your, your uh, trim pieces here. And then uh, you got little clips that typically like hold your carpet in. You're gonna have to pop those out. Um, this carpet's out of a 2005 model, so it doesn't have the little pin clips. Um, and then you just pull your carpet up to the side um, and then have fun. If I can get this out, I will show y'all. Well, y'all, um, I found why. Uh, I guess that's for water drainage. If you're wondering what all that oil re residue is, that's a... Uh, from when I, uh, a few years ago, I had soaked this with PB Blaster. I thought it would just sit in there, but looks like it all drained out. This bolt shouldn't be hot anymore. Ooh, yeah, it's still hot. But there's the top of it I cut right off. This is a DeWalt blade uh, for metal. As you can see, the teeth are pretty damaged. They pretty much melted right through there. Um, this thing keeps kicking on and off that's why but now I should be able to get there and get that flush hopefully a lot of this vibration from this replicator saw is knocking some stuff loose hopefully I, I might be able to I might have to get a pair of vice grips on that so I can get it because right now that just spins big person this is going to be kind of difficult oh yeah that is yeah oh back with the ripcator saw uh, if, if i had a way to get the camera in here i would have you all watching but the problem is, there's no metal, uh, except I got my uh, phone 
recorder on on there because the back of the uh, case is a magnet. So what I'm doing is trying to cut this flesh flesh because I think this all build up right here is what's keeping it from going down. Then I'm going to have to take a pair of vice grips, clamp them around this part right here. That way I can hold it. The uh, replacement. Put the camera method, where before, we can see it, buddy. As a Thank you. Um, I'll try to put the photo of it. Uh, this this right here is a test. Um, that I'm a little bit hard headed. I, I guess I don't out. listen. I'm gonna have to get a replacement bolt, um, which I'm gonna have to go the Dorman route for the aftermarket, and I'll probably get an old license plate or something, smack it, and then drill it, put some sealant around it, and then drill it. Definitely gonna use some uh, anti seize on the new bolt, and then gonna spray some anti rust in there. Uh, so in the future this doesn't happen again So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cutting that and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back that way because <laughs> I bet the rip, replicator saw noise is uh, Is uh, extremely loud. So if you're using headphones, I, I'm gonna probably put a warning in the beginning of the video if you have headphones uh, turn the volume down um, or don't use headphones so uh, yeah because uh, basically both control arms sway bar bushings is going to cost me about $67 ship from Rock Auto uh, for both new I'm working on rebuilding the whole front end suspension wise um, because you know getting ready this engine's getting ready to go in i'm going to work on the back suspension uh the stabilizer links back there uh everything um probably going to have to reroute the exhaust uh because well the hangers for the muffler rusted out um but i'm going to do work back there maybe there's enough metal left uh where the hanger went that I can you know weld a new one up but I'm gonna have to also buy a welder which isn't too cheap which isn't too bad I can get a no gas welder at Harbor Freight for about 150 something as long as the prices as not went up I ain't been there in a few months but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get right back to this um, and I will come right back to y'all as soon as I get somewhere and this is a darn dang great example if it's broke fix it 100% Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to get uh, some more blades before I do the other side, but here's a haha -ha funny uh, Cadillac hubcap on that's a rim off a PT Cruiser uh, whew, Man, I really had to put some muscle in it see what these teeth look like Yeah, those teeth are shot Yeah but that is also some very tough uh, metal but there y'all go I got it now the question is can I get that bolt out about to find out man I wish I could do music while I was you know doing this Nope, I'd get uh, demonetized, which I might, because uh, I forgot to turn the country station off. And I don't know. Uh, man. Okay. So, I believe it's seven, eight. Nope a bit bigger let's try the 15 sixteenths yep 15 sixteenths I'm gonna give the old uh, impact here a try first 
I think mine's dead. This is my buddy's. <laughs> I figure why I had it, but ears, people. God almighty. Let's check the battery. We're dead. Man, it was full charged yesterday. But then again, uh, I was taking off some bolts. Yeah, that that is, yeah, that's definitely not enough juice. Oh, man, power it is. Let me see if I can get y'all braced up in here, possibly. Well, uh, I don't, maybe on the back of the rotor. Let's see. I got y'all hooked up on the back of the rotor. Uh, let me go get my bar. So y'all sit tight and keep an eye on the car. This bad boy, more leverage. That's turning. Well, y'all know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna work on this, and but and I'll be back. All right, peeps, my subscribers, I just checked it out. I'm at 2,997 subscribers. We're like like three like th three to four from 3k i mean that's what i'm talking about and uh i had i'm just gonna tell you a little bit when i had this to towed over here to my new spot you know because i went through going through divorce whatnot and you know my wife kicked me out the house so i found me a spot you know it's all good it's all good though you know because single life the single life eh, it ain't too bad because you know now i can work on the car and i ain't got to listen to a woman gripe <laughs> but anyways um that's the banded pt cruiser for any y'all that you know have seen the other videos uh that is officially mine i put a mechanic lien on it uh, because the lady was not willing to pay me for the work i did to get it started um but so my method worked cut the tip off vice grip that bad boy so it wouldn't turn use the half half inch breaker bar with my big boy i mean big boy bar then bust it out once it got loose you know where i could kind of had to use that a little bit on, on that bad boy but i got her out I got that bad boy out. Look at that. Man, look at that. That is crazy, y'all. But that's what the North does to these cars. This car is from Ohio. There's a little Ohio tag peeking right there. Ooh, my bad. Uh, but yeah. 05 trunk. 
the, you know, they didn't make SXTs in, uh, in uh, 2000. 05 seats. I just, 05 carpet. I've just been slowly, eventually I'll get the 2005 seats in the back. These seats are way more comfortable than uh, what was in there. But then I had to get my pickle fork to help wig it out, to get it out. But there you go. It's a lot of effort to get this out. Some people say torch it. I mean, you could try torching it, but if if you look real close, focus. See that right there at the top? That's not debris from me cutting it. That's the rust. And as I was getting this out, you could hear it in there popping. Boop, boop, boop. So, had to use my replicator saw and this I gave up on this but there's the one piece to it oh. and I don't know if it's hot there's the other piece now I know when I do the driver's side to cut big opening um I wonder if I can get this out now. Oh no, that's like in there now. The new bolt, you know what? If that's too big and the, the new bolt might fit through there and then I can put the nut on top of it. I'll let y'all know uh, in like a little short part too if that works once I get the bolt. But now since I got that out, I'm gonna call my, my friendly advanced auto parts in seymour tennessee and i'm gonna see if they have that dorman product and if they can order it because i can't get it through dodge if not i got the bolt numbers for the size and gm still sells them so i can go to gm get a bolt find a nut that works get a thick bed get a thick washer what not and get this bad boy on there because honestly that right there that bolt right there would have mechanically totaled this car because you can't get a replacement but see i don't give up i did give up on the thunderbird though because uh there was uh i need a wheel bearing and couldn't get it could not get it there's a couple other parts that i needed for the engine could not get them the only option i had on that thunderbird was to supercharge it and that was like six thousand dollars and and then the transmission decided to lose overdrive in uh the fourth gear so it went i put i got a title load on it got money then gave it to the title loan place <laughs> you know quick way to make a buck because nobody was going to buy that car and I got more for it than I would have got scrap. And then they sent it off to an auction. I mean, somebody could have bought it for parts. But anyways, I'm rambling a little bit. That's how you get that bad boy out. Thank you for watching. If you are not a subscriber, as 98% of you are not subscribers, hit that subscribe button. That's all, I, that's all I ask. You don't have to hit the bell. You know, you could like the video if you want to. You could possibly leave a comment. But most of all, subscribe. That hitting that subscribe button helps me be able to do a project like this that I want to do that a lot of people tell me is stupid because it's a 2000 Neon. You know, it's a shit box. And I say, hold on a second. That's a shit box. PT Cruisers are shit boxes. Not really, you know, I mean, because look, it's rusting on the inside of the car. But then again, this is a 2000, 21 years old, and it's been sitting, and it was sitting, you know, in a yard for like four years. So, and it became a storage. I've cleaned most of it out. I took a lot of the stuff in here that was in here and threw it in the trash. But, you know, I, I couldn't get a owner's manual that 
Oh, that's part number and numbers for a throttle cable for dealers in Indiana and Virginia. Um, so I got a 2001 owner's manual, same car. Anyways, subscribe. If it's broke, fix it. And I'll put the part number down in the description for the bolt and the nut. And if I can't get that, the next video I'll have of putting this together, putting a new control arm on it, whatever, whatever I got to get this, to get this done, I will let y'all know. I will. That's the stuff that goes on top this, the body. <laughs> All right, y'all. I feel very accomplished today. I'm gonna get my shot back, clean that up in there. I'm probably gonna prime, probably gonna paint that too to help with rust. Put some uh, rust sealant in there. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting 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 and uh i'll see y'all in the next video and remember if it's broke fix it